Now is the perfect time to start an NCAA dual meet tournament. Start the bracket now. This is the perfect time. Hear me out. This has been this has been something that fans have been dying for for so long. Bring on the NCAA dual meet bracket. You know, we, we have the regular individual tournament, but what about the dual dual teams? We get a Big Ten dual meet champ. We get a a uh, MAC champ. We get a Big Twelve champ, but we don't get an overall dual meet champ, and it's kind of unsatisfying. It it's not satisfying by the end of the season. And with the Iowa and Penn State dual cancellation, it's just brought up to me a lot of questions. And it shows why duels are just meaningless. There's no real meaning to the dual meet season. How does it connect to the NCAA championships? It doesn't. Wrestling season, when you think about it, is kind of all messed up and and mess around. So... Because there likely won't be a rescheduling due to the tightened Big Ten season, there needs to be a change. There needs to be a change in wrestling. And here's what it would be. And I'll tell you, well, I'll, I'll get to that. But there there used to be the NWA, NWCA Dual Meet Championship Series that happened at the end of the year. I love this series. When we got to see Penn State and Oklahoma State wrestle, so Cornell and Ohio State. NC State and Michigan, we got to see these teams wrestle who we typically wouldn't see wrestle in a regular season. You know, I loved the Penn State and Oklahoma State matches. Those duels were so thrilling. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go to the one on State College because I believe that was the year I was I was fundraising, dancing and thawing, actually a big Penn State fundraiser. But anyways, ended, it ended in 2017, this championship series that crowned a dual meet champion. Now, I think that was when Flo may have messed up that streaming between the Penn State and Oklahoma State duel, and that was just infuriating if you remember that. But what happened there, and why, a big reason why it was canceled, is because Suriano was injured against Nick Piccinini. And that, that, that really put an end to that series because the coaches said, there's no reason for us to wrestle in these duels, risk getting injured when there's no nothing really on the line other than respect maybe a trophy or something but nothing nothing that important there for us to risk our guys getting injured two weeks before the Big Ten championships and then the NCAA championships there's no reason for it to happen so what is the solution what needs to happen so it was important because it crowned a dual meet champion that NWCA and it, and it rewarded conferences and gave guys the opportunity to compete it was also compelling as a fan because there's a lot of fun to it so how would a tournament actually work because this would be what I am suggesting is separate from what the NWCA did they, they just had kind of a series it was essentially like college football bowl games that's kind of what the NWCA championship series was I want an actual tournament similar to like the many state tournaments that have the like a PIAA state tournament high school tournament has dual meets to crown a dual meet champion. There's a dual meet champion crowned a month before the individual state champions. And so there's enough time for that to happen and enough time where if guys do get injured, like they can actually have some time to rest up. So how would it work in college? First of all, there would have to kind of be a separation. The first semester of the season, October through November, would have to be when this is run. And I would run it similar to football where we have one dual meet per week. And, and yeah, you can have tri-meets or whatever. You can have your first couple matches of the season be against, you know, the the, the quote-unquote cupcake teams out of conference, uh, similar to what college football does, but essentially have an actual dual meet season. So from October to November, you're able to have eight or nine duels. And that way, if you guys do get injured, at least they have some times before NCAAs. They'd have eight weeks of conference duels similar to college football, and, and at the end of that, there would be a champion crown uh, in the conference, and that would send them 
send these teams, like once all those dual meets are wrestled, you'd have the, the Big Ten champ, the Big 12 champ, and that would send them to the bracket. So what is the bracket? Who would be in the bracket? This is kind of how it would look this, this year. So it would be a 12-man bracket is how I'd run it. Champions from se- all seven conferences. If you're a champion, you win your conference, you get into the tournament. You'd have five wild cards, five wild card bids that could get in there with four rounds. So, you know, round one, round two, the semis and the finals with some consolation as well. Run over a two to three day period in December. And I'll get to how that would shift these tournaments like Midlands and Scuffle and things like that. The one thing, the one thing, and I'll show you kind of how the bracket's set up here. The one thing that would have to happen is in order for teams to wrestle in this, there would have to be something on the line. There would have to be something online, and one of those would be, you know, for, for the for the big schools, it's, it's exciting because they get to win a an actual NCAA sanctioned trophy, and, and not the trophy, but you know, it's it's exciting to win the championship that actually brings your school something. You know, you're, they're able to brag to their school, brag to their fans, we're NCAA dual meet champions, and you can still ha- crown NCAA champions in March. But let's talk about the dual meet champions. Let's see who the best dual meet team actually is. So this year, how it would look, and I'll get into the actual season things in just a bit, but it would look like this. You'd have these teams, like you'd have two teams in the ACC with Virginia Tech and NC State likely getting in. Big Ten would have Iowa, Michigan, Penn State, and Nebraska. They're probably going to get, you know, if this was run, the most teams every single year. Big 12, Okie State, and Iowa State. Navy would get in from the EIWA, likely, you know, depending on how that duel goes. Uh, Mac with Mizzou, Pac-12, Arizona State, SoCon would have Campbell this year. So these teams would happen or would get in and they would wrestle. You know, you'd have your, your the first four seeds would get bids. So your Iowa's, Penn State's, Michigan, and Virginia Tech would get a bye the first round. Then you'd get exciting duels like Nebraska and Arizona State, Mizzou and Campbell, Okie State and Navy, NC State and Iowa State in those early round matchups. You could sell tickets to that event. You could, I mean, heck, you don't think I would want to go? You don't think that I would want to go to the dual meet NCAA championships? Sign me up. Sign me up. I'd pay 100 bucks for a ticket to go to that. I'm sure you would too. This is an exciting event that I would want to go see. And maybe you could put money on the line for the school or, or whatever that may be for as incentive. But then by the time that ends in December, at least now, maybe you get a month off. Maybe the guys get a little bit of time off and then we transition into the individual season. So that we they get some time to rest up if they need it or more if they need even more time. And that's very impressive. So the rest of the season, how would that look? Well, they would actually be wrestling in tournaments. So, yes, you would have the dual meet tournament, and but that wouldn't it wouldn't count towards anything else. Like some people would say, there needs to be a dual meet season that counts towards the actual NCAA season. No, that I, that's not the way to do it. You have an NCAA dual meet seat tournament, and then you have the individual tournament. You over in the next semester, you'd have opened the Scuffle, Midlands, and Reno, Cliff Keen, Las Vegas. You would have to move these tournaments, though. Right, like right now, they're at the beginning of the year. Most of them are in December. Move them a month. Move them a month and a half, please. Like, it's not that difficult to do. I know. I understand that some of these tournaments. That's just how they're run. There's this or that. Move them. Make. Make it better for wrestling. It would make it better for wrestling. Then you'd still have the conference championships in March. And then the NCAA championships that happen. That way, it makes the dual meets worth it at the beginning of the year. Why is this good? Like I said, it's good for big schools and small schools. Small schools can brag then at the beginning of the year that they made the NCAA championships as a dual meet team. These smaller schools. Maybe they pull an upset, get into the bracket. That's huge. Maybe they can pull out a squeak win in some of the early rounds against a bigger school. And it's it's exciting to wrestle these bigger bigger schools like Iowa, Michigan, right? You'd have less guys injured. That's why it's good. It would give a real meaning to the NCAA dual meet season. You'd be able to crown a real champ. 
And that's why I believe that this is something that needs to happen. Would you pay to go to the dual meet season, uh, dual meet championships? Please let me know in the comments below. If you like this clip and are looking for more wrestling news and discussion, I recommend you check out the full Fanco Wrestling Show podcast, which is live on this YouTube channel every single week. You can click here to subscribe to be notified of new and upcoming videos, or you can check out the Fanco Wrestling Show on your favorite podcasting platform to listen on the go. Stop stalling and start listening today.